guys and welcome to Mrs. Patnor's Maths lesson which is number four of this week, okay? We are talking about time this week and today we are going to boil an egg that is just right to dip soldiers in and eat it. So a, a dippy egg that's nice and runny, so not hard boiled but a nice runny egg, okay? Now in order to do this, you will need some water in a saucepan that will be cold to start off with. Now you can help adults with this bit, but some of it the adult will have, your adult will have to do for you. Now this egg, I'm just gonna put in first of all to check that the water pretty much just covers the egg. And you can see it covers it. But then I'm going to lift it out again because I don't want to put it in and time it until this is boiling. Now when water is boiling, it does a very obvious thing. Do you know what it does? It bubbles, bubbles a lot. So I'm gonna bring it over here and put it on my um, hob there. Now when this water starts to boil, you'll see it bubbling quite a bit and that is when I'll put my egg in and that is when I'll start timing four minutes because we want to feel what four minutes feels like, okay? So we're gonna come back to that when that is boiling. Okay, so if you look over at the water now, come and zoom in on the water, it is bubbling. Look at those obvious bubbles, which means it's reached boiling point. So now my egg, and you will probably need an adult to help you with this bit to keep safe over the hot, steamy water. I am just going to pop my egg in very gently, because if I pop it in too hard, it will crack and I won't get a nice boiled egg. So it might crack, but we will see. So I'm just going to pop it in gently. Sometimes the heat is too much for it and it wants to crack anyway. But I'm gonna lower it in carefully, but this is probably a job for an adult because of the hot steam. At this point, I want to start my four minute timer and I'm gonna start it. And when that reaches zero and it goes off, then uh, it's time to take the egg out and it should be just right and ready to have with my boiled, uh, with my soldiers. Okay, so while that's bubbling for our four minutes, we're going to count to 20 in twos. So here is 20. When we're counting in twos, we don't say every number, we jump over one, okay? And we're gonna say all the even numbers, the ones that can be halved perfectly. So, two, four, six, eight, 10, over the 11, to 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So well done for counting in twos to 20. We're also going to count in ones to 70. We will go high on the multiples of five, all the numbers that end in five, and we're gonna go low for all the multiples of 10, the ones that end in a zero, okay? So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Well done. Now, okay, our egg is still boiling and if we check with the timer, not long now. This is our seconds ticking by. We've only got 20 seconds to go now. So it's nearly time to lift our egg out of the pan, which gives me just enough time to get a little plate over here. Now I haven't got 
got an egg cup here in school, but hopefully you've got an egg cup at home. Because normally you'd lift it straight out of the water and put it onto into your egg cup. So that's our four minutes up. So we had a feeling of what, oops, what it was like to um, to boil an egg for four whole minutes. We had time to count to 70. We had time to count in twos. We had quite a bit of time to talk about what we're going to do next. So now I'm going to, and an adult will probably need to do this for you. I'm going to spoon the egg out of the water. Careful not to bring any hot water with me. Bringing the egg over like this. Now normally you'd put it in your egg cup to stop it rolling around like mine is, but I'm going to bring it over here, I'm going to try and take the top off and we're going to check that our egg is perfect. Now if we'd done it for more time, for longer, let's say five minutes, our egg might be really hard, okay? If we'd done it for less time, let's say three minutes, it might be really runny. So fingers, I mean don't you touch your eggs when they come out of the pan at home yourselves because you'll get burnly burnty fingers here but I'm just uh, being very careful as a grown-up not to hold it too long in my hands because it is very hot yours will be in an egg cup so don't copy me remember at home have yours in an egg cup you can always make an egg cup I suppose by cutting a kitchen roll towel holder in half and using that if you don't have an egg cup at home maybe you've never eaten a boiled egg before okay so mine would normally be in an egg cup and at this point, I would take the top off and pop my top there. And let's look at my yolk. The perfect runny yolk in four minutes. So that's why time is so important. To get things timed exactly right and to get it just how we want it. That's why we need to know all about our minutes and measuring in time. Okay then guys, thank you for joining me for lesson four today of this week about time. I'll see you again tomorrow when we're going to have our clocks that we've made in front of us because we're going to talk about o'clock. I'll see you then.